teachers of reddit what is your this student is so smart it's scary story one of my kindergartners just knows multiplication and not just the basic fives or tens in the beginning when his parents told me i played along with 2x2 or 10x10 but you can tell him 17x14 and he knows it instantly so cool to watch my daughter was like that at three my sister is a kindergarten teacher and she just loves telling people she taught my daughter multiplication as a toddler. Really, she was distracting her in a store, and my daughter was counting by twos. My sister said, can you do that with threes? My daughter thought about it, and then just did it. They went through this all the way to the sevens in ten minutes. My C's told her it was called multiplication, and to this day, takes credit for it. My daughter is currently in sixth grade. Taking both Algebra 1 and Geometry. She isn't a genius or prodigy she isn't doing so well in history. Probably because, for example, instead of taking notes on the Haitian Revolution yesterday, she started writing all the exponents for 3. She was proud to show me she got all the way to 3 to the 50th. Some people just feel numbers and enjoy them more than other things. I had a student ask for an extension on their paper, because they were representing our nation in the World Science Festival. They came in third, and the paper was an A+. I was doing a 500 piece puzzle with some kids, I was a preschool teacher. We finished the puzzle, except for one piece, which was nowhere to be found. Kid comes and takes one look at the puzzle on the table, says, oh, are you missing that? I know where it is. Reaches into another completely different 500 piece puzzle, rummages for like 10 seconds, pulls the piece out, fits it in. I ask him how he knew it was there. He said he had done the other puzzle for a bit and noticed it. I asked him how long ago. Christmas, he says. It was February at the time. Kid was maybe 5 at the time. Might be more memory than intelligence, but that was crazy to see. Such a great kid, in somewhat dire circumstance. I hope he's gotten all the opportunities he deserved. I once had a pre-kindergartner who could read, and cried because he was so upset with how dumb the rest of the kids were. My mom would write little notes for preschool me, and stick them in my lunchbox. My teacher noticed I could read them, and would have me read them to the class every day after that. I cried, but from embarrassment lol. I work with 18 to 24 month olds and we have an 18 month old who can have little conversations. Perfect sentence structures, perfect verb conjugation, perfect pronunciation, even L and R. Knows all the alphabets, numbers, colors, shapes, by sight. Some of the others know some of those things, but I've never seen a baby this advanced. I sometimes forget she's only one year old, because she seems more like three, five, just tiny like a one year old. Her dad brought her back from a well baby checkup telling us that the doctor asked, does she say any words yet, and we all lulled cause she has full conversations. My son spoke in full sentences by 18 months, reading by two, five, could add, subtract and multiply etc before preschool. He's now 21, unemployed and spends all day playing games online backslash view 200d still smart as though. Just lazy. He might feel like he can't live up to the pressure, like everyone thinks he is really clever, but he doesn't feel it and doesn't want people to notice. If he doesn't try he remains clever but just lazy. If he tries and fails he's no longer clever. I was definitely like this because I hit a lot of milestones early. Just something to bear in mind. Maybe try and build his confidence again. Good luck though. I'm sure it can be super difficult and frustrating for you. We had a 4 year old in preschool. He was sitting under the table writing down numbers for a long time. He had no time to talk to us. When he came out and we looked at what he had been doing. He said he wrote down all the multiplications. It turns out his brother in 5 grade was learning the multiplication table, and this little brother really wanted to do the same, but did not have a multiplication table. He counted on his fingers to add each column, and got the table right. A few days later he knew multiplication. He would also comment on dates. If someone told they had their birthday on June 12th, he would say, that is in 184 days almost immediately. On an excursion we passed some statues with birth and death dates, and he would casually sum up, 
he was 78 years and 110 days old, she was born 33 years and 120 days before him etc. I think he was maybe more focused and willing to understand than necessarily so smart. Edit, since got some traction. This kid is really the whole package. He is enthusiastic about everything. Gymnastics, science, art, math, not at all to compete, just because it is what he likes. Other kids just follow him, and he is the often the center, and he is kinda nice. Never seen him push, hassle or brag. Just enjoys taking in all facets of life. I just wanted to show him I could see who he was. I treated him as an adult in conversations and feedback. He was of course childish in many ways, but behind the noise of childishness was a wise soul I wanted to know and encourage. Who are, Silver. I taught high school math. One of my freshman students divided 1134 by 63 in his head in less than a second. I'll let him finish his problem, and then after he arrived at his answer, I asked him how did you do that? He looked at me with this blank stare, as if he was thinking you can't do that. He proceeded to say well I doubled 63, and then multiplied that by 10, and then I saw that 1134 was just the difference of those two numbers, so 18 looked at me like it was nothing. I told him good work and moved on. I'm only above average at a few things, but one of them is mental math. When I saw that this kid could do this calculation that I couldn't, I was so happy. It was one of my happiest moments as a teacher. I didn't help him in that moment, but to know I played a small part in his math education felt so good. Edit. Okay, I get it. You're all geniuses. I wish I had you all in my math class. Not a teacher, but a proud big brother. My baby sister was 5 when I came home from college for the summer after actually figuring out calculus. And I explained it to her. And she wrote it down in her journal. Yes, she kept one from the time she was about 4. Fast forward after she skipped a few grades in elementary school. And she was taking calculus in high school. And could not understand why it was so easy. And reread her journal figured it out and called me laughing she has a phd in high energy physics and does research at cern yeah that stuff desperately proud of her not a teacher but a kid in my grade ended up taking courses two years ahead of the rest of us advanced kids the funny part was that he skipped his own mother's class and wrote novels during middle school math he's published three books and currently has over 95 percent in every class how did he get a publisher? My friend wrote a novel in 11th grade, but is having trouble finding someone to publish it. Or maybe it's the cost of getting a professional editor. I forgot. I have a 5 year old this year who has stolen my wallet more times than I'd like to admit. From my pocket. Without me knowing. I now wear a wallet chain. Like I don't remember what decade it is. He still tries, but he hasn't figured out a workaround. Yet. I'm a piano teacher on the side, teaching a 4 year old how to read sheet music, before she can read books. I ask her to find the season she will point then out on the page ECT. She can also do math really well, and understands the concept of multiplication. Also another student that just started, and plays by ear, and composes her own pieces at 8. She also speaks 5 languages which I didn't find out, until I told her I was learning German. After teaching her for 3 months she's already to the point where I had to send her to a better teacher. Obligatory not a teacher comment. There was once a kid in the grade above me in middle school that hacked the school database and deleted everyone's grades. He was expelled. Edit. This was about 6 years ago. And it wasn't just as easy as using a teacher's username and password as teachers only had access to change grades in their own classes. He was caught because he bragged about it. He was just one of those kinds of kids. Kid took the fat highlighters, cut them open, and removed the insides, and replaced it with weed. Sold them at school. He was caught, but only because a kid snitched after they were caught getting high. Absolutely brilliant. My mom was a student teacher in the early 1970s. She recounts the story of a gifted first grader that nobody really knew how to handle. Every day her mentor would give the child a copy of the New York Times and let him read during her class. 
Much later my mom was working as a speech therapist and had a severely autistic child that would come in daily. After their lessons he would spend his free time drawing elaborate and accurate city maps on the whiteboard. It was fascinating. Worked at a special purpose preschool designed for kids on the autism spectrum. Did an intake day with a kiddo, 4y slash o, where I was just trying to have fun and see what kind of things he liked. Did some time on the computer where we surfed around YouTube a bit. He searched up a video about our solar system and began to explain to me the difference between the inner solar system and the outer solar system, what they are made of, sizes, electromagnetic fields to compensate for distance from the sun, etc. I had to google everything he ws saying because I had no idea if it was true. Spoiler alert. It was. My 7 year old son is on the autism spectrum and this is him with weather and sports. I stopped questioning him because he was right and I wasn't. For Christmas we bought him a bunch of books on weather and climate. By New Year's he had memorized them all. Yet we can't get him to sew his math homework. A student at my school had OCD so just memorized the textbook and wrote out the correct chapter for each question. Also their handwriting was so neat that it looked like it had been typed out with a typewriter. Not a teacher, but had a classmate who was, and still is, a genius. I distinctly remember him asking very complex questions on the current reading literature and making constructive arguments. It was over my head, but our teacher was offended and argued back that he didn't understand anything and or an overachiever. I think they were over her head as well. She screamed at him and stormed out of class a number of times. There was a time she asked him to leave as well. I never felt so bad for a classmate. He didn't deserve to be yelled at like that. I believe he's now a mathematician with published works and awards as well as a successful musician. My mother told me a story once of a kid she went to high school with. This kid was the local stoner but incredibly smart. He was talking college courses way before everyone else saying they like ran out of math for me dog. One of my high school classmates was a classic stoner. I don't know how he made it out of high school he was so stoned all the time. He went on to become the head of pediatric orthopedics at one of the best teaching hospitals in the country. On the other hand, another stoner classmate was taking post-calculus math from the local junior college while we were in high school. He's been institutionalized since we were maybe 23 after frying his brain on drugs. You can't ever tell which way a brilliant stoner will go. You. I have a student who is an immigrant that speaks fluent English. I assumed that she grew up in the USA. She told me she had been here for a year and knew zero English before coming. I was amazed. I have another student who just does calculations instantly in his head. He doesn't have to think. When he learns more math it just becomes automatic. He explained that numbers just make sense. I'm not a teacher, I'm a student, but one of my classmates just has so much random sheet memorized. Ask him about anything, like the Crimean War, how to build a combustion engine, random useful bits of information about bands from the 70s, as well as being an excellent student in every single subject. He's also managed to teach himself Cyrillics, or whatever that Russian alphabet thing is, and can speak Russian pretty well, despite never having taken a class of it in his life. IDK, it's just nuts he's so good at so many random things. I had a kid who could take one look at a national flag, and then point to the corresponding country on an unlabeled world map. Instantly. I teach kids with autism that learn on the alternate curriculum, usually lower level academics, and have cognitive delays. I'm always amazed that, while they might struggle in one area the strengths they have, I had one girl who knew everyone's birthday, everyone she met, day month year and age. She could also do crazy math in her head. I have another kid who is minimally verbal, but knows every locker combination in the school. Two others who are amazing artists. Another who could tell you what 80s movie I can share a birthday with you. I love my kids. A kid's work kept deleting itself on a computer every few minutes. He was having a meltdown and I saw it happen it was impossible to explain the phantom deleting that was going on. 
Fast forward to the end of the class, and there's one kid remaining, that was sitting at the opposite computer from the kid, who lost all his work, he looks at me, and says you wanna know how I did sir, he had put in a USB keyboard into the back of the computer, and had it set up, so he could hit the delete key with his big toe, it was the funniest stealth attack I'd seen in a long time, being the teacher I should have done something, but it was too funny and smart. I feel so incredibly stupid reading all of these comments lol. If it makes you feel any better, if today you got out of bed, put on pants, and brushed your teeth, you're probably doing better than half of those former prodigies. Source, former smart kid. My friend took the act when we were in 7th grade and got a 31. I don't know how, because they don't teach you half of that material until high school. Hell of a guy though would intentionally get questions wrong on really difficult tests, so he wouldn't kill the curve for the rest of us. Not a teacher, but had a classmate in my American government class in a community college about 9 tenths years ago. Our teacher gives 3 questions for you to pick one of them to write about for the test in essay format. You get the question about a week or so, to prepare you to study your subject question. Most people write an average of 5 to 8 pages during the test. This guy writes around 20 pages, give or take. Even the teacher was dumbfounded. He did this for every test and this is a 3 term class. You don't have to take all terms, or even take it order, if you happen to do all 3. Yes, he got A's. He wanted to get into politics. I heard of overachievers, but... WTF. Who does that?